up, man? <laughs> it's Joe D, bro. Uh, I'm do another beer review, man. Come join me, man. Let's do another beer review together, man. Share a beer, bro. <laughs> Today's beer was sent a little while back uh, from Mark at uh, Video Beer, beer Reviews. Um, and uh, let me put this pencil away. And it's one of one of the beers since I've been reviewing beers that I've been dying to get my hands on. Uh, mostly because I wanted to find it, uh, you know, well over a year ago, and it just isn't sold in my area. Uh, it's not because it's a really great beer or anything like that. It might be. I don't know. I'm gonna taste it here in a little bit while we, we're reviewing it. But it was. I was just really anxious to get it. And some of you has been watching for a long, long time. Know that I've been dying to get my hands on it. And that's Enos and Gun. Enos and Gun. Now this is uh, an oak aged beer. Okay, it says right here in the label. Uh, what I trip out on when you go to their website. Um, you'll see that they carefully mature the beer for 77 days. They make it a point to, uh, matter of fact, they have a whole section of their website here, uh, let me see, uh, that's dedicated to their, um, let me see, to their process of, um, of uh, aging their beer. Um, let see. Yeah, they have the brewing phase, the seven days, and the uh, maturation phase, and the uh, so they, they they go on and on um, about their uh, maturing process here. Um, but it says smooth Scottish beer matured in select oak uh, barrels. Now they have this one, which is the original. Uh, and then they have what looks like a newer one. Um, where's it at here? It's the um, the the Enos and Gun Rum Cask Finish. Okay, now that one on their website says 7.4% ABV. Okay, and that's that particular rum cask finish uh, beer, right? That uh, particular um beer right now this one here on the bottle says it's 6.6 uh, ABV okay and this bottle is actually an 11.2 ounce bottle which is pretty pretty typical uh, for uh, English ales that are that are over here but uh I find that interesting because everywhere else that I look at like um uh, beer advocate. Uh, well, beer advocate says 6.6 uh, ABV, but um, when I look at uh, halftime beverage, which is where I recommend, uh, you know, uh, people in the U.S. at least. I, I'm not sure if they ship uh, all over the world, but um, in the U.S. at least, it, it, on their website it says 7.7. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I looked on. Um, rate a beer that it was uh seven point something on there as well i don't know for sure i think they might have those two styles mixed up because even on the bottle this this one says uh um uh, 6.6 uh, abv i don't have a clear um ibu for you the uh on if you if you look at uh halftime beverage They've got a hop rating of three out of five, so I'd imagine it's kind of middle, um, you know, as far as the uh, the bitterness goes. But <clears throat> it isn't a clear bottle, you know. I think clear bottles are cool, but they're not ideal as far as beer goes, as far as uh, storage and stuff. But as long as you keep it out of light, <laughs> so we'll block the light, you know. But uh, Hey, it's towards its final stages now anyway. I like the cap. This is definitely a cap that I'm going to keep. I, I, I would have kept it anyway because it's the first first and probably only Enos and Gun I'll have. But the cap's kind of cool. I will be keeping that. Uh, so, let's go on with the review. I'm going to use... Um, let me see here. 
I recommend a pint glass or or a, a, a tumbler or something like this. So I'm going to use my um, uh, Rogue pint glass. Just you know, plain plain pint glass. I do have my handy towel here. Uh, same one. It's getting a little getting a little wore out though. Quite a few washings. Um, and my trusty. <laughs> <laughs> my trusty uh, uh I always have a towel here cuz like you can as you can see that I always do my reviews um right here at my computer and some of you have seen me destroy a keyboard before <laughs> and some of you that do the are on the live show with me you've seen me uh, destroy stuff so let's see if we get some awesome smoke out of this let's check it out oh <laughs> now what's cool about the clear bottle you see what I'm saying look at that no, we didn't get a lot of smoke out of there. Smoke stayed in the top, see? So at least you still got to see it, dog. Now, you ain't going to see too much difference other than the head right here. Um, you know, because it's already in a clear bottle. You're, you're seeing what you're getting, right? Uh, let's see here. Slow down there a little bit. There we are. Nice, nice little head to it. Already I'm getting... Um, like an oak smell from this. Um, now, I, I do have this. The recommended temperature is uh, 45 to 50. And this is definitely more towards the 50. Mm, you do get a hint of that uh, oak barrel. Mm, I got a little, a little vanilla. A uh, little hint of the vanilla there as well. Uh, they say toffee, um, not getting that yet. I do get a kind of a maltier smell. It is definitely sweeter, doesn't smell so bitter. So let's see. Cheers. Ah, mm. right away, I'm, I am getting that oak that oak taste from the barrels um, let me let me clean my uh, I do have a little mm, ah, just to make sure of what I'm getting here a little slight bitterness I think from that clear bottle mostly um, but just a slight, not 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 uh, not too much, not like a Corona bitterness or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> just a slight bitterness from that bottle. Um, I am getting a little uh, vanilla. Uh, I don't know. I'm not quite getting the toffee, but I, I'm definitely getting a strong. Uh, a vanilla and a like um, <clears throat> I guess it is a toffee I guess huh? I guess there is a little hint of toffee but definitely the oak barrel you know it's not a bad beer I, <clears throat> I'm i definitely giving this a two thumb I think this is a really good beer for it's class this is uh, let's see beer advocate has it as an English pale ale now <sighs> I've said this before and I'm, I'm sticking to it. You know, the pale ales don't always necessarily have to be super hoppy. Some of them are smooth, and this is one of them. Um, and this is an English one. I, I kind of always refer to the not-so-hoppy uh, pale ales as um, American, but this is an English one, and it's it's pretty mellow. Mm. Real smooth. Uh, not a real heavy beer. Not overbearing. Um, I, th I think it's pretty damn good. Ah, I definitely give it a two thumbs up. And a I'm a so fat rating of buys the beer. <laughs> Make sure you check out I'm a so fat too. And I dig that. I love they say that they say that. Um, uh, so check it out. 
thank you very much, Mark. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure you check out his channel too. Uh, video beer reviews. Check out all the beer guys. I, I I've been kind of out of the loop with uh, you know taking care of my mom and so forth. But uh, you know, hey, we're getting back into this game here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've been doing a lot more of that. Look at this. Got my camera back there. I've been doing a lot more of that too lately. So there's some of that going on. Um, but Thank you very much. Uh, I am on Flickr as ABQ Trucker. Anybody wants to check out my photography or just I throw a bunch of random pics up there that I might take with my iPhone and stuff like that. You're more than welcome to check out my Flickr images <laughs> and listen to this crap. <laughs> um, Enos Gun, the original, buys the beer, man. It's very good. <laughs> All right, man. Peace.